वेलकम बैक यूर वॉचिंग द मॉर्निंग न्यूज ऑन सी एन एन न्यूज एटीन एंड डी के शिव कुमार ब्रदर डी के सुरेश इज स्पीकिंग लेट्स लिसन इन ऑलरेडी आई डोंट थिंक आई एम फुली हैप्पी बट इन द इंटरेस्ट ऑफ द कर्नाटका वॉट कमिटमेंट वी हैव गिवन टू दीपल ऑफ कर्नाटका कनडी का वी वॉन्टेड टू फुलफिल so that's why the party and mr dk shukma everybody has to accept in future we will see let us see long run to go your wish was to you want to see your brother as a cm of yes Karnataka. i wish him but it didn't happen no we will wait and see So remember, the Congress Party has finally reached a consensus that uh, D K Shiv Kumar will be the Deputy Chief Minister and Sidra Maya will be the next Chief Minister. Our senior editor Palavi Ghosh is joining us. Palavi, we just heard D K Suresh saying that he is not fully happy with the decision. Uh, can you tell us more? See, obviously, uh, in an ideal situation, D K Shiv Kumar and his supporters and his family would want him to become the Chief Minister, and that's the main reason why we've been seeing back and forth over the last two to three days. But at the end of the day, I think D K Shiv Kumar made it very clear when he said that for the sake of the party and for the Gandhis, he's decided to sacrifice once again. So there's just so much he could push the envelope. Uh, I think it will be critical because if that two and a half years rotation. cycle is actually going to work a lot will depend on sidaramaiya whether he actually gives it up more importantly a deputy cm post is more what is that was his complaint will the same happen with dk shiv kumar who's an astute politician a lot will then depend on the credibility of the gandhis and kharge who are once again going through this experiment and uh, and therefore dk shiv kumar would certainly want to wait and watch to see that whether their word is kept also palavi now that it is almost certain that who will be the next chief minister and the deputy chief minister what are the challenges that uh, lie ahead for the two leaders well to a show of unanimity a show of strength uh, and to show that all is well and whether they would be able to work with each other that is thing is going to be critical uh that the bad blood and the animosity between the two is something which cannot be denied it can only be covered up as it was during the campaign that's one second is uh, who, whose uh, supporters get the maximum number of portfolios and what kind of portfolio that also gives the power uh, dikhi shiv kumar as a state congress chief will in a sense be powerful he's going to decide on ticket distribution ashok uh, uh, and of course uh, sidaramaiya as a chief minister will also have his say and i'm talking about lok sabha elections so these are going to be very very critical trying time and i'm just basing my thoughts on the uh, on what in chhattisgarh and in rajasthan all right palavi please stay with us we also have yash who's live with us from kc venugopal's residence where dk ha- dks has already reached uh, yash any update on sidramaiya situations right now first uh, uh, it might be that uh, dk shiv kumar's meeting uh, is currently underway with kc venugopal so there is a possibility that sidaramaiya is waiting for that meeting to end or the second situation is that this uh, the leader uh, mr sidaramaiya could actually arrive over here and there could be a joint photo op but that seems very unlikely because uh, right now uh, these because uh, as earlier we were told that these are the two separate meetings which are being held first was with mr sidaramaiya and the second one was with mr Mr. DK Shiv Kumar, but now DK Shiv Kumar has arrived first at KC Venu Gopal's residence, and in fact, these are the visuals which are coming in from um, Mr. KC Venu Gopal's residence over here in the national capital. The meeting just began, and in fact, not only DK Shiv Kumar but local MLAs from Karnataka are also here, and in fact, there is continuous people are coming and people are leaving from his residence, and in fact, Mr. Surjewala is also present inside this very uh, premises, and in fact, this meeting is going on and has started, and it's almost 15 minutes. now since this meeting began and in fact this is one of the most important meetings we could say which are happening right now here in the national capital and in fact uh, this meeting could be one of the last meetings which could happen here in the national capital then the entire drama so to say will shift to bengaluru because at 7 pm today what we given to understand is the time of that clp meeting after that officially a uh, name of mr sidaramaiya will be announced as the chief minister so till then these uh, meetings are happening continuously here in the national capital and uh, the most interesting thing to watch if there will be any joint photo op uh, with both the leaders because right now 
uh, earlier we had reported and in fact uh, Mr. D.K. Shivkumar was also quite vocal about it that uh, he is not uh, looking to budge and in fact Mr. Siddharamaya had also maintained that he is not ready to budge but this time around what information we are picking is that Siddharamaya is the final choice of the top brass of the Congress and in fact this decision was made after last night's uh, very hectic meetings which took place uh, here in the national capital at uh, Mr. K.C. Venugopal's residence and Mr. Surjewala's residence and finally at Mr. Kharge's residence. All right, Yash, please stay with us. We also have Shireen with us. Shireen, so apart from the post of uh, Deputy Chief Minister, has uh, D.K. Shivakumar been offered any significant portfolio as well? Do we have any information? Well, uh, for now, the tough part for the Congress was, of course, that uh, uh, chief ministerial post and the deputy chief ministerial post. It was, in fact, the task in front of Congress party was to make one person the chief minister and the other uh, to convince him uh, in fact, to accept the decision. That, of course, it seems has now become clearer. Yesterday also mass residents, there were about uh, 12 to 13 MLAs who were present in support of D.K. Shivkumar. When we talk about Sidramaya, he also has in fact a huge support of the MLA. So who all will be a part of the cabinet, what portfolios will be given to who, uh, who, who uh, whose person will be there in top post. All this of course will be uh, decided in the CLP meeting that is going to take place at uh, 7 p.m. Uh, today is what we are being told. Uh, by afternoon, we are being told that uh, both uh, the leaders along with the supporters will be leaving for Karnataka where the final announcement, the big announcement, the official announcement by uh, the Congress party will be made. So right now at KC Venugopal's residence, DK Shivkumar is already there. Uh, Sidramaya is on his way to meet uh, KC Venugopal. Uh, there could probably be, a, in fact, a, a, you know, press conference or some sort of a photo op as far as both leaders are concerned. There could be a likelihood that before they leave for Karnataka, they might come here uh, to meet uh, Malika Arjun Kharge as well. Uh, even while we speak, there are a number of uh, MLAs who are still coming here to meet Malika Arjun Kharge. So, uh, these the, the, meetings are continuing, whereas the picture is is now getting more clearer. We are just waiting for that official announcement to be made by the Congress uh, where they will be announcing uh, that who is the Chief Minister and who is the Deputy Chief Minister and then uh, in all likelihood uh, 20th is the date uh, that we have been told that when the swearing in ceremony will take place and accordingly they will be calling all likely uh, this is also something that has been told by the Congress sources that in the swearing in ceremony all the like uh, minded parties, the opposition parties will be invited but uh, whether uh, they will be inviting anyone from the BJP, who all are going to be in the guest list is something that will be confirming in some time. But as of now, it seems that uh, the trouble or the tough uh, part as far as the chief ministerial post is concerned, that seemed to be have been solved uh, all thanks to uh, the Congress President Malikarjun Kharge, the Gandhis and also uh, Randeep Surje, uh, Singh Surjewala who were here till late night uh, to uh, ensure that the decision is not dragged on any longer and the decision uh, comes to and the whole uh, drama comes to a conclusion. All right, Shireen.